Haney Filmmakers, I'm Nick Bodmer. I'm Griffin Hammond. And on this short bonus episode, we answer the question, how to recover corrupt files from an SD card? Ooh. <laughs> this is our our week off. We, uh, we've done, what, 56 episodes so far? And so this is our normal one week off after every eight episodes. Nice to take a break. But even when we take a break, we've got a little something for you. Yeah. So let me let me read you an email that uh, that we got from Taylor. This is directed right to you. He says, Hey, Nick, I love the podcast. I have an issue that you might know more about than I do. This weekend, I was shooting a music video for a local band. And when I got home, none of the footage was on my SD card. I researched it a bit more, and I think the card was corrupted. Do you know if there are any ways to recover these files off the card, or do I need to schedule a reshoot? Oh. That is a horrible feeling, is it not? Do you know this feeling, yeah. Griffin? I mean, I've never had a corrupted SD card, but I certainly have known the feeling of not recording the things that I thought I recorded. You think you push record, or you like you go to look at your footage, and it's all video of in between the stuff you thought you shot. The in betweens. <laughs> That's <laughs> brutal. Where you're That's starting to, to record a, a when lot. you think you're. St- yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. But I have also had SD cards go bad, or I've had things like where you delete something and you realize you deleted the wrong thing, and you're like, "Oh God, what do I do?" Oh jeez. What what do you what would you do in a situation like that? I just kind of assume I'm screwed. I mean, I don't know. Is once things are deleted or corrupted, is there anything you can do? Fortunately, yes. If you can still read some data off the the SD card, you do have some some options. So what's nice is like, so say you have your SD card inserted in your Mac and you just select everything and you hit delete. You know, it seems like it's gone, but it's actually not. All it really did right. was update metadata and say, okay, these files are gone. You can use this free space, but it doesn't go in and actually change the bits that are on disk. So there are tools you can use that will ignore all the metadata and actually go and read the ones and zeros and try and identify what actually makes up an image file because it knows what that looks like and help you recover some or all of of the corrupted data. So are the one I even recommend if I, Are you saying that even ahead. if I select everything, delete it and go to the recycle bin and say empty trash, it hasn't actually taken that stuff away, it just it knows that that's the next thing that can be replaced by the next exactly. file that you write to the trash? Exactly. Oh, okay. So when you have a an SD card or data in this state the important thing is don't go try and reuse the card because if you go use it and shoot more video it could overwrite that stuff you're trying to save because it thinks that's just free space to write to so that's step one is always you know lock that card down put it in read only mode if you if you want to try and save something and then the software that i've used to great success is called photo rec p-h-o-t-o-r-e-c it's digital picture recovery software it's uh, an open source software, so it's totally free. It runs on Windows, it runs on Mac, it runs on more than that even, but um, for our audience, I think that's probably what matters. And it will scan that SD card, and if it can find anything, it thinks looks like an image or a video file to help you pull it off. And it's made for photos and video. Correct. Though I think it might be able to ha- help you with other types of files, but that's what it's designed to do. That's what it's going to be good at detecting, yeah. those those known file formats, JPEGs and video files and things like that. So Taylor said that, sadly, he wasn't able to recover anything from this card, so he is going to have to go actually do a whole reshoot with this with this. What band. was interesting about Taylor's email, though, is he said it did pull up old photos and things that had been deleted, you know, since he had formatted mm. the card, but just not the stuff he thought he shot. So this is one of those situations where you think, you know, there's some, unfortunately, a lot of times this is operator error. I know I've made these mistakes more than once where you're maybe you've got, you've got the wrong SD card. You ever do that? You, you're like, I have five SD cards in my bag. I'm positive it was this one. And nope, it was one other one. So that's the kind of thing I have to go check too. Like, which SD card did I really use? Go check them all. <laughs> yeah. But you said you've used this to success. You've actually lost and recovered files. I have, absolutely. Um, you know, back when I bought the cheapest SD cards possible, um, this saved my butt once for sure what kinds of things did you lose like wedding stuff god you know it was years ago so i can't remember exactly i just know i had done this this uh exercise before 
yeah. and was successful and was like amazed that it actually works but it does yeah so we'll put a link to that in the show notes for this bonus episode at hey.film hey.film speaking of hey.film and the hey indie filmmakers podcast nick did you know that we just won an award the oscars just happened not that long ago was there a secret <laughs> podcast oscars <laughs> there is no oscar for <laughs> for podcasts on youtube Damn. and itunes <laughs> did we win a but, webby our friend Johnny Bosworth, he has done a YouTube awards show every year for several years, and he's given awards to some pretty big names. Uh, he's even gotten acceptance speeches from people like Freddie Wong and the guys at Corridor Digital, and he has awarded us Best Podcast this year. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. So That's exciting. So now... Well, thank you. Thank we, you. Thank you. What we are supposed to do is give him a short acceptance speech. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess the, we haven't started it yet. We're going to start any second now. This will be our take that we send to Johnny. Okay, what are we saying? What do I need to say? Um, I'll uh, maybe right I'll just uh, I'll start I'll start improving it. Um, all right, improv. Okay. So before I even before I even start, I actually had lunch with Johnny last time I was in like one of my last trips to Illinois. He actually happens to live near Amy's parents. Oh, so like I had some easy. I had a taco lunch with him. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good taco? Yeah. Do you think the taco lunch influenced our selection? Yeah, now I'm thinking Do that you think that's you were part kind of, of the grease speech, in maybe. the wheels, maybe <laughs> uh, you a little bribery. <laughs> did you pay for the tacos? I did. All right. Oh. So, so here's here's how here's how we should start the acceptance speech. <laughs> Thank you so much, Johnny. We are honored to win best podcast for uh, for this year's Johnny Boz Awards. I'm hoping that it's not because I bought you tacos that one time, and that it's actually because Nick and I have a good podcast. I've got a list of names, people I'd like to thank. <laughs> I'd like to thank Griffin Hammond for finally agreeing to do a podcast with me. It seems to be working out all right. We want to thank all the listeners for their support and questions, which keep us going. Yeah. Nick, do you hear that that music playing? We're being played off? Is that what you're, you're telling you're, me? Yeah, your list is too dun, long. we got to get out of here. Dun, 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 <laughs> well, thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Does the mic go down automatically? That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, there's, there's got to be something in there that's usable, right? <laughs> You're a good editor. You'll figure something out. <laughs> I'm guessing that by the time this this bonus episode plays, the Johnny Boz Awards video may already be up. So, uh, so this is like a behind that's... the scenes as to how our acceptance speech was made, <laughs> right? All the hours of labor we put into it. <laughs> So if you're not already on our website, hey.film, check out the show notes there. I'm sure there is a link to Johnny's video. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. And that's it for this, this short bonus episode. So thanks for joining us, and we'll be back next week with a full-length episode. Yes, we will. That will be sometime in the month of March. I can't keep all my dates straight. March or April? I'm sorry, April. Yes, there <laughs> See, you go. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Do we have a script? Not really. Let me just... Uh, I'll just make something up real quick. Just come in whenever you feel appropriate. <laughs> <laughs>